Guys, check this out. I decided to spoil myself because why not, basically. It is 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, it's almost 4. It's about 20 minutes till 4 in the morning. And I got Wata Burger because they're open 24 7. And Kai, you're such a cutie poo that people at Wata Burger saw him and were like, oh, he's so cute. And so they gave him meat. Look at this. He gets free food. Yeah, like that's that's a good piece of meat too. I might just triple stack my burger, Kai. No, I'm just kidding. You are too cute. Here you go. That might sound bad because like thinking about it, you're like, three o'clock in the morning? What are you doing up at three o'clock in the morning? Well, I'm not doing up. I am awake now. It is morning for me because, check it out, spicy ketchup. Anyway, because the thing is, I did not sleep the day before. And I was up for like the whole day. Sometime around five o'clock, I got back home and I just immediately went to bed. I crashed because I hadn't slept in like 27 hours, I guess, um, if I did the math correctly. So after I went home and I crashed, I woke up at around one o'clock in the morning, couldn't fall back asleep and just ended up getting up. Thought I'd might as well go for a drive. Eventually I started craving a patty melt. So here we are. I also got a Dr. Pepper shake, which is amazing. Why do I look so weird? Okay, it's a little better, at least on my skin. This is the main cause of the problem, is the computer's putting white light on me and the whole background is yellowy, so it's giving like a really weird look. Lately, it's ever since I made that video a couple days ago, I just have like not felt fantastic. When you, when stuff like really bad happens to you, I guess, your brain has to take time to process that. And sometimes it never processes it. Stuff like death or losing a loved one, um, traumatic experiences like your brain has to process all that information and it's both physically and mentally stressful i have slept awful like all week my appetite has been weird and just like in general like today i was like super dehydrated i just downed like four water bottles but like i wasn't even thirsty i just knew that i needed to drink water and i just drank a bunch of water so my health has been weird. Everything's been weird right lately, but I'm trying to get like back up there so I can be like in a healthier place, but it's been taking a while. All right, you already ate yours, Kai. There's no more left. All there's left is my food. Ooh, my food. Spicy ketchup. So I got the Jeep running. I got it all wired up. It starts, everything worked except for the headlights. I checked the wiring, it's all wired correctly. After checking all the fuses and everything, everything checks out. Replace the switch, still nada. So I got a little $10. Got a light here, it's 10 bucks. Um, if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to start tracing wires. So crossing my fingers. It is coffee weather. Yeah, puppy, it's coffee weather now, huh? It's coffee weather. Yeah, weather for coffee, Kai. You know what that is? Hey, Kai, okay. it's coffee weather. Coffee weather. Dashing through the snow in a one horse puppy sleigh. Over the hills we go, puppy all the way. So I just went and dropped off coffee for my friend. Um, and in return, oh wait, no, not coffee. It was hot cocoa. What a loser. Went and dropped off hot cocoa for my friend, and in return, she got me my favorite pizza. Now, she works at this place called Papa Murphy's, and honestly, Papa Murphy's is kind of nasty. I'm not a fan of their sauce or most of their toppings, but they have an exception. There is a barbecue pizza there, and because it's a barbecue pizza, it does not use their sauce. It uses barbecue sauce. And it's a game changer, guys. Like, this thing is incredible. Now I just gotta figure out what to do with it because my RV stovetop works, but for whatever reason, the oven doesn't. It doesn't have gas going through the line or something for some reason. So I can't cook it at my RV. 
And I got a family size, so I'm trying to see if I can go over to my uncle's later and share it with the family, but I haven't really got a text back. I actually ended up signing up for DoorDash, and apparently the way it works is they're not going to do anything for you until you complete your first dash. So it's waiting for me to complete my first dash. I'd be perfectly fine with just going and doing a dash like right now, but it keeps saying that it's too busy in the area, and so they don't have any dashers right now that they need. So I'm not able to do any dashes. I don't really know what I'm going to do for today. I, the Jeep is almost drivable again, but I'm a little scared to drive it because I don't want to drive it and have a fuse blow again. Um, I haven't made any money since I came here, so I might need to take it to somebody who actually does understand electricity because I do not understand electricity. So I need to figure out what's going on there and get that all situated. I was about to swap out these OEM lights I accidentally got one of the wrong ones. The first one I ordered online and I just got it to make sure that that was the problem with the Jeep. But the second one I went to the store, just saw the first one that was 10 bucks and I was like, okay. Well, I didn't know. This is a H, oops, H651 and this is the one I need. So I didn't know they made different ones. I thought they were all universal, but this one only has two plugs and the Jeep needs three. so. Got to go back to O'Reilly's and exchange it now. So I'm taking those with me. And after that though, she should be good to run. I probably need to buy a fire extinguisher. So if it does catch on fire, I can put it out again. Otherwise, it would be toast. But aside from that, she's good to go. Honestly, I was hoping to drive her out by today. But um, it, she's currently barricaded in by a trailer some wood and a couple other things. Um, I got everything done a lot faster than I expected. So, oop, hang on, okay, I close the door. So, she might not get to come out to play today, but the snow's pretty much gone anyway, so I guess it's okay. I want to get her back on the road though. She's pretty much fixed. <laughs> That's the one I need. I didn't even buy the right size one, so guess we're well. Got the other light. I'm gonna head to my uncle's house so I can make this pizza. I've been craving this pizza forever. Ah, oh, credit. Just remembered. I need to get blue cheese dressing. Then go to my uncle's house to get the pizza because it's not good without blue cheese dressing. set up a ping pong table. I've never been a fan of ping pong, but it's still kind of cool. 